in that we always at Packard Essential, we really value that holistic aspect of where we talk about that eat well, move well, think well philosophy. And so we often then in our um, office, we have a month through the year where it's our move month. It's about, you know, we want to talk about people, how can we move better? And um, Luz and I sat down and we thought, oh, you know what, how do we make this, you know, just sort of another, you know, something that we can get excited about this year. And so we thought, hey, let's actually get a group together, and instead of it just being us talking about it, let's actually action a cool community initiative for us to really gather everything together and create a model. Yeah? So it's really about saying, okay, cool, as a community, let's again get our head around this, let's really start to make some change. Because I used to always talk about that knowledge is power. And I, if anybody knows me, I'm a huge nerd. I love knowledge. I love, you know, reading lots of things, going to lots of seminars, all those sorts of things. And knowledge is power, but actually, knowledge is really only potential power. Because it's actually action knowledge is power. Yeah? So tonight, what I really want you to get out of tonight is really three things. We're going to get into the body of movement and why it's important, ways that you can start getting moving, how you can get the most out of the law in terms of we've got some amazing partners that we're working with um, that are providing free movement sessions. We've got inspiration that's coming at you. It's going to be, you know, really, really awesome. Um, we've actually got 96 members of the law that have signed up, so we're really stoked in terms of that community, and we want you to really get, um, be involved in that. And so we're going to get into that content tonight, definitely. Um, but also, I know that that we put in is again the more what we get out. Yeah? So tonight there's gonna to be some times where we're gonna ask you to maybe write some stuff down. Yeah? We're gonna maybe ask you to action a couple things, think about some things a little bit different. And it's just like going to the gym or it's just like you know anything in life. If you get involved, if you come with an open mind, if you go all in, you're gonna get the most out of it. Does that make sense? Yeah? So tonight I'm gonna to ask you to go all in. Yeah? And really put in again, and, and if we say, hey, take a minute to write something down, write this down, get out the pens and, and write that down. We've got actually in your um, folder a couple of things that we're going to reference to. So again, have a look and, and get involved. Nice. And the third thing, like I said, uh, that I want you to have tonight is that I want you to be able to walk away tonight going, I am ready to action that. Yeah? Because to, like I talked about, there's actually what we talked about, a five degree rule. In that if you're headed in a certain direction and you just make one small change, one five degree change, over time you're going to end up in a completely different place than where you were originally headed. Yeah? You with me? So I want you to think about what's your five degree change? Yeah? What's your five degree just small action that's ready to start taking you on a different journey? Yeah? You're getting good? So I'm going to give you an opportunity to take some action. And what that action is, I want you to have a think about as again as we're going through tonight. So to have a little bit of fun, I would really like you to, first of all, actually one of the, I never usually say this, but I want you to actually grab out your phones so I can film one of your phones for a second. <laughs> Beautiful. Excellent. Like I said, I usually uh, we just had a recently a, a tech a no tech zone in our office recently where we challenged everyone to actually not to use their tech and actually connect with the person next to them. Cool. Oh, you don't have to do anything. All good, but I do want you to open up your phone. I want you to open up a browser. I'm only got a couple bars down here, but that's all good. And I want you to actually click into the browser, themomusium.org slash nickname dash generator. In there, gender, pick your region, what size you're on, what records you're involved in, what's your role in all this, pick your favorite area.
Is this how we have to refer to ourselves for the whole entire month? From month? now on. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, this is the Eras, Prohibition, Modern Era, Rat Packs, from the 60s disco era.
test, test. Okay. 
gratification for doing whatever action it is, but doing it to the degree you feel proud. And only you know when you
you can actually then write it out and put it out and you start saying it every day, or you tell someone about it as well, that increases by 50%. Again, who can trust you here? Yeah, everybody in the world wants to support each other. We want to help you out. So, like she said as well, if you haven't already joined the Facebook group, um, I'll give you the link again tonight. Join that, pop it in there, and again, we would love to help support and have you um, achieve those uh, by the end of the month. So, I want to just delve into why movement is so, so important. We all know that we go, oh yeah, I should be moving because it's good for my health. When we think about our health in terms of as a society, and over the last year, 18 months, we've never been at a time in our generation where health has been on the forefront and in the minds of all of us, ever. You know, it's, it's at the moment now, so much in all of our conversations, we're all asking questions, we're all going, how can I be healthier? How can I be stronger? What's going on? Yeah? But we look at over the last period of time, our, in terms of chronic illnesses and things that are going on in our world, would you say, have, and when I say chronic illnesses, I'm talking about things like heart disease, cancer, chronic fatigue, diabetes, obesity, all these sorts of things. Now, when we look at that, would you say that as a society, those are increasing or decreasing? Increasing, yeah? Would you say in terms of our healthcare system, are we living in a time where there is more money or less money being put into our healthcare? Well, there's, it's costing us more, yeah? There's way, way more. There's less funding going in because they're running out of money, definitely. But we've never lived in a time where there hasn't been more pharmaceuticals and more different you know, procedures and um, you know, uh, machines and things that they're using, yeah? And in that, have our genes changed or have our genes stayed the same? As far as the human species? What else? So interestingly, what's known as epigenetics changes in terms of what genes get open and what genes close. But our genes as a genetic makeup have stayed exactly the same as what our hunter gatherers are. Yeah? So the change is that our environments are very, very different. Yeah? And unfortunately, life has become more and more and more stressful. Yeah? Who here in the last you know six months has gone, man, I'm stressed out. Wow, well, there's a stress going on. Yeah? Stress is happening. Yeah? So we're in a little bit of a health crisis. Well, not a little bit, we're in a big health crisis. The numbers in terms of chronic illnesses are crazy on the increase. When I was younger, I remember they were talking about as far as who could be impacted by cancer. And they were like one in five people. One in five. And they were like, look around the room, so one in one in five people. That, you know, in five years' time, it could increase to like one in three, and in that period of time, it's actually increased to like one in two. It like it's exponentially. I don't know if if someone in this room, if everybody in this room knows someone or is touched by someone or has been affected by somebody who's been affected by a chronic illness. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, and so we need to start. At, me as a, you know, I've got a three-year-old and a one-year-old now, and I go, when do we draw a line of sand? And go and why, is it, why are we getting sicker and sicker and sicker? And instead of asking the question of, you know, if we need to start asking the right questions and saying, okay, actually, what do we need to do to start incorporating a better recipe so that we're getting healthier and stronger? Yeah? So that's why I'm so passionate about the movement model because that's one of the pieces of the puzzle to look at how are we going to be achieving optimal health. And so what I want to look at is, you know, is your body smart or is it silly? Smart, incredibly smart, incredibly smart. And it does everything that it can to allow us to adapt to the environment that we place it in. Yeah? Some of you may have heard this analogy that I talk about in that every time we go into a different type of environment, our body will perceive and analyze what's going on. Yeah? So if I was to take all of us out of this room and chuck us on an iceberg, what's one of the first things our bodies would do? Shiver. Beautiful. And why would it serve? Beautiful. It recognizes very intelligently, so smart, that your body needs to warm up, or if it gets too cold, it will start shutting down and you're going to die, right? So it goes, I need to shiver, start to try to increase that metabolism. If I was to leave us on that iceberg, um, then the blood would start to pool from our fingers and our toes, right? Come to the center of the body, right? Why does it do that? Beautiful. It protects the organs, the heart, all the main organs that are going on, yeah? So very intelligently it does this because it recognizes he can live without a finger or a toe. But he can't live without you know, the internal organs, everything that's going on internally, right? So if I leave us again on this iceberg and over a period of time the blood's all pulled to the center, what's going to start to happen to my right toe? It's going to start smelling something funky, start turning some funny colors, right? And I'm going to look at that toe and I'm going to go, that is a bad toe. I need to get 
that toe. What do I need to do to get that toe off me, right? In a symptomatic model, we look at that and we go, that's something wrong and I need to get rid of it. Instead of actually asking the question, wow, why is my body doing that in the first place? Because if I was to actually take us off that iceberg before the toe got to the point that it was dead, the dead tissue, if I took us off the iceberg, what would happen to the blood? Go back to the you would warm up and the blood would start going back to your fingers and your toes, right? We'd get back to equilibrium and balance. The body then, if it hasn't gone too far, will start to heal naturally. It'll go into our body has this amazing what's known as innate intelligence. Intelligence that knows to self heal, self regulate the body all the time. And so we're off that iceberg, it goes and it'll start to then heal those areas. And in that, very intelligently, it recognizes that you're in now a place of balance and homeostasis, right? The issue is that at the moment with our health, we cut off the toe and we leave ourselves on the iceberg, right? Instead, we need to say, hold on a second. If I did, my, my body is doing exactly what it needs to do in the environment that I placed it in. Instead, I need to get off this iceberg, yeah, and into a better environment, and your body naturally, intelligently, will start doing what it needs to get back to balance and health, yeah? So, April is about us going, hey, what are those things that we need to be doing? And that bigger picture around supporting and starting to listen to our body. But as I said, life is stressful. Now, I look at it all the different systems in the body, as far as our cardiovascular system, right? Heart, lungs, things going on, digestive system, you know, your stomach, intestines, all of those things, all those different systems in the body, so, so important, but what is the most important system in the body? Thank you. 
I, you know, I drive to work. When I get to work, I do do some computer work and reporting, things like that. Um, you know, I go home, I'm driving home, I sit at home from work and eat, or sit and eat my dinner, you know, and sit on the couch and look at the family and watch some TV, what I'm doing. You can do a lot of sitting. And sitting to our spine is like sugar to our teeth, yeah? And uh, like sugar causes the pain generation of the in your mouth, sitting causes the generation of the pain in your spine as well. Researchers have found that prolonged sitting may increase uh, the um, risk of developing several serious illnesses, such as various types of cancer, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. So again, this isn't just about you know um, surface why that people look better, or you know that your jaw might be better. It's genuinely we're looking at that five degree change to make a massive impact of where you're headed. And I talk about you know I want to be running the hundred year marathon, not the fifty year sprint. Yeah, and I want you guys to all be here with me running that marathon, having a great time doing it, yeah? So in that, um, also they looked at after one hour of sitting, the production of enzymes that burns fat declined by as much as 90%. I don't know about you, but I want my fat burning enzymes burn at 100%. So we have been sitting for a little while. We're all going to just stand for a moment. Just move out your shoulders there for a sec. And we're just going to do a bit of movement. So I first want you to put your arms out in front like this. Give yourself a little bit of space. Um, come back to the chair. I want you to just lift the legs so they touch the hands if you can. And a little bit, yes. Sit inside your chair, that's good. We go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. And I want you to bring your hands up in front like so. And just uh, slightly bend the knees and the hips. And I want you to gently do a nice full spinal rotation. So a nice smooth motion all the way from right to left and looking over the shoulder as well. Just a nice, when you're feeling like this, I'll just pause at the back and then come back around. We're going to just continue this a couple more seconds. This is actually like brushing the spine. Just like you brush your teeth in the morning, this actually softens out some of your fluid and all the joints of the spine. It becomes stagnant from sitting. It stops the body laying scar tissue. Beautiful. Excellent. So having a seat. Fantastic. Well done. So let's get moving. Yeah? <laughs> just like Andrew was saying earlier, hey, what do you need to wear to be going? Yeah, I'm at my so best, cool. right? So, this is actually just uh, um, what I want to get into um, really quickly, because I know that we're just running a bit over time, and I, I want to get the audio in this time, but I do want you to get the most out of the movement model. So, I recognize that we're in a different location, so our um, signal isn't great, but I would like to just walk you through very quickly how we um, are going to uh, share with you our movement mob um, meetups. So um, if you look at your uh, app store, so just um, pull up on your phone the app store. And for free, if you search team app, so T-E-A-M-A-P-P. It's going to be on the reply button. Yeah, always. Yeah. So what we're going to do is I'm going to actually post this again on the Facebook group, and we will send it out in our first email that's going out as well on the 5th, which is the first Monday um, that the mom is, is happening as well. So um, in the team app, if you've got that and you uh, do want to get it now, that's fine. You can go ahead and get it. But I'll just walk you through. What you're going to do is um, open that up, and it will just basically um, ask you to sign up. And which one is it? Oh, sorry, yep, yeah, exactly. It's the green one with the green shield. So, yeah. That's nice. It's full section. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so if you've actually already got it and you're already a member, some people are, you can then just search for our team, okay? But if you um, uh, don't have it yet, again, like I said, just uh, download that um, the team app. When you sign up, you just search for our team, the movement mob, okay? When you hit on the movement mob, the one thing I just want you to know, so the PR logo, the Chiropractic Central X movement mob, up above, it'll just say tap to sign up, okay? So it'll say, so it'll tell request to join Teams app. You do just need to tap that, okay? Um, once you tap that, it'll just ask for like your name and uh, some details. Again, none of that gets shared. It's just literally um, to register on the, on the app. So in terms of product teams, not to worry, you don't do anything that but um, once you do that, then you then um, uh, it'll say um, when you click the request to join Teams app, um, hit mob members, and then you just enter in your details under the mob members. Then if you go back, I'm not sure if you can see on my main page. 
picture, but you'll see our big logo, and you'll see at the bottom for the movement mob, there's events, and then a few different links here in terms of these are uh, the links to the Facebook uh, group, and as well our um, website, and page, and our central web page. So just on the far left, though, is events, and when you open that up, it'll give you a calendar, and then if you tap across into April, correct, um, you'll see starting on the 6th, so because it's Easter, the Easter holiday, we don't have anything going on Monday the 5th because of Easter Monday, but starting the 6th, you can see then we've got a list of all of the different events that are happening throughout that day, okay? So as you go through, we've actually got an amazing group of people that are working with us to help you get moving, okay? So in that, all along, we've got literally six days a week, Monday to Saturday, there are things that are going on. Check them out. There's different descriptions going on. So we've got everything from there's different yoga, Pilates. Um, we've got a, um, different fitness classes that are happening after boot camps. We've got a bunch of really great webinars as well that are going on, and also workshops in our office. So really great to explore. Um, with that, uh, like I said, um, we're going to send out this information um, in that first email, and also to share on the Facebook page. So you've got that. If you have any challenges with that at all, um, please, please let us know. Either email us, um, let us know on the Facebook page, and again, we can definitely help you from a tech perspective. Once you open up one of the events, then all you need to do, so for example, we've got um, on the 6th, uh, beautiful, we've got a Black and Park outdoor group session with the Tower 360 Fitness. Okay, beautiful. So um, when we open that up, you can see there's a description of where it is. Also looking at that description of actually what's going on. Um, there are some events where you just need to fill out like a um, assessment form before you come. Oftentimes those are online, so just again click on, on that and that's fine um, to complete. And then from that, just at the top, you'll see yes or no. So if you'd like to join, hit yes. Now you guys actually are the first to have access to this. Um, like I said, we've actually got 96 members, movement members that we're really excited about. So. Um, there are certain ones that obviously have limited space from that, so I would recommend for you to get on as soon as possible. Go through the events, find out the ones that you want to be um, involved in doing, and then uh, get yourself uh, as a, a yes on that as well. So I just want to give you a little bit further idea in terms of with um, some of the things that are going on. So um, we do have uh, some of our partners here tonight also, so they'll be sticking around for a little bit afterwards for you to chat with a bit further in terms of with um, uh, the things that they're involved with, but I do want to make mention, so um, we've got uh, the amazing Shona, if you'd like to stand, or there you go, wave, beautiful. So Shona, for those of you who aren't aware, she actually um, is our massage therapist in uh, the office of Cabinet Central, as well as Feldenkrais practitioner. And so for those of you who aren't aware of what Feldenkrais is, um, this is actually a great opportunity for those of you who haven't tried um, something before to go, hmm, I haven't tried this, I'll, I'll give this a go. Other phrases uh, brings mindfulness of meditation to how you move, feel, and function. Um, and so it's restorative movement practice, learning into the different sensations in your body, letting go of different tensions, and discovering then and moving how moving one area affects other areas to find more support and comfort. So Shona's actually going to be running one virtual session and as well one uh, other session at Soul Food Fitness just uh, in, in Lane Cove here as well in one of their studio spaces. So check out um, what she's got uh, as well in the event package. We also have uh, Alice, our clinical nutritionist, who is going to be running a workshop, a really fun workshop, and doing a bunch of demonstrations, lots of really great recipes, things to do at home that are going to give you boost energy. Really great, again, uh, food choice in terms of nutritionally for movement. Also, anti inflammatory recipes to minimize inflammation and get us moving better as well. Um, we also have uh, Extend Bar, is uh, going to be doing an alternating week of Pilates and Bar, also, so to have a little bit of that. We also have the wonderful Annie, who's here from Vision Fit, or Vision Personal Training as well. Thank you, Annie. They're actually um, doing a series of a multitude of um, different in, uh, in-house sessions. Um, so things like uh, boxing, there's a run club that's going on, Extreme Marines, uh, Revive. So um, again, check out, uh, they've got some amazing different times and things that are going on, um, but some limited spaces. So definitely um, get into those uh, as soon as possible. Um, the awesome thing that we do love about Vision is that they're really a community there as well. Um, and it's really uh, not just a gym, it's like a family, which we love. So um, definitely check that out also. We also have uh, the, um, as I mentioned, Soulful Fitness, we've partnered with, and they're going to be running a slow flow yoga. Oh, thanks, Sean. So we're going to be doing a slow flow yoga um, once a week also. 
check that out. Also, we have the um, wonderful uh, Kate, also from uh, Power Team 60. She wants to give a hi, by the way, as well. She's here tonight. Fantastic. So, um, Kate's got three different things that are going on, which are really exciting. Um, number one is that uh, there's a teen boot camp that she does um, from 4 to 5 on Thursday. It's one of the things that Kate's really passionate about is teens, and as well, really about um, uh, taking away body image in terms of saying, you know, this, what, what are the goals that we're going to achieve? And working together in terms of um, uh, families as well, you know, among the teens and families to go, how do we get into fitness also? And I'll let her talk a little bit more about that as well. She's also running a virtual um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday early morning session that you can do in the comfort of your own home as well, um, first thing in the morning. And also a weekly outdoor session, um, also on a Tuesday morning. Um, uh, that's great. So, again, yeah, um, Kate's really all about holistic fitness and nutrition and body confidence. That's really uh, designed again to enhance. Uh, so, just really quickly, we also have um, some different webinars around holistic approach to wellness. There's one on a freestyle flow session, so about um, how to move in your home, just with the, the dancing that's going to go on, and we're going to have a, a fun time again getting moving in, in your home. Uh, we've got also a workshop at Cracker Creek Central around uh, Stress Less for Proactive Mamas a workshop that's going to be fantastic. And we also have an introduction to mindfulness and meditation um, on Saturday, April the 10th as well with Rob. Uh, so again. Um, as much as movement is what we're about, mindset is so huge, and sometimes in the quiet is where we're then able to move better as well. Yeah? Beautiful. So, in that, I don't want you to miss out, so I apologize that's not quite dark in the Facebook um, <laughs> group, and you uh, read that at all. But, um, <laughs> what we'll do as well is we're going to be sending out another email to everybody who hasn't yet joined the Facebook group with the Facebook link. So I would just actually ask you to keep an eye out for that, that you'll get the email, literally, just click on the link, and then hit join, yeah? And that's where there's actually going to be an awesome plethora of information that's just going to come out. Again, you can engage as much as you want, but again, the more you put in, the more you get out. Yep, come on. And they want to be a part of the mob? Yeah, yeah. Like, totally, yeah, they're more than welcome. We would love, love, love to have family members, 100%. Is that what you're asking? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, perfect. So, definitely. So, all they need to do is um, go to the Move the Mob website that was in the office with the QR code or where you sign up. Again, I have happy I can send you the link as well. Um, they can just sign up there, which they automatically go on to the, then all the information that we send out. And also um, link into the Facebook group, and then we accept them.
even if it's just one small action, okay? Write it down, say it in the Facebook group, let us know, cover it, send it to your health team, you know, let us know. We would love to support you in that even further, yeah? And very, very lastly is that if you're someone who has never had your spine and nervous system checked, or you've got a friend or family member who hasn't had a, a checkup looking at how their nervous system is working and looking at that they're wanting to achieve optimal health, an action, easy action is to look at having a checkup. And so in your folders as well, there is what's a, we've got what's known as the yes folder, or yes sheet. You just open that up for one sec. In the back, I'll just show you. It just looks like that. Basically, um, to have a full checkup, normally it's over $200 for all the diagnostics and the reports and everything that we do. Um, we can move them off if, again, yourself, or you've got a friend or a colleague, a uh, family member, um, we will do that full checkup and all of the diagnostics fully complimentary. Yeah? So all you need uh, is just to then write down uh, their name or your name and uh, to book uh, one for you or one of your family members or friends. Just then to give this sheet to me or to the Sierra Gabrielle at the back. Um, also, too, just to let you know, at your workplace, um, uh, you're interested in um, having some computer or as well as a wellness program uh, in terms of uh, looking at eyes regularly going to different um, workspaces and love talking health, love talking how to combat stress, smile health, uh, sitting at desks, things like that. So again, uh, if you'd like to know more information about that, let us know and just write that down so we can give that to you as well. Beautiful. So thank you so, so much for tonight. So sorry that we went a little bit over for time. Please have a look through the information in terms of what's in that uh, handout as well. Like I said, if anyone would like to look at a checkup, just give me that sheet. Keep an eye on your inboxes for all of the information to get onto that team map for all of the meetups as well. Beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> also, I'll just say if anybody um, wants to ask uh, the partners any of the questions in terms of with any of the movements and meetups that are going on, as I mentioned, we've got Kate from Manpower uh, uh, 360 Fitness, we've got uh, Annie from uh, Vision Personal Training, Shona as well with uh, Building Christ. Um, so, yes, please uh, ask away. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely.